And we're in Studio B. I'm joined by Zach Anderson, the political editor of the Herald Tribune. Zach, welcome back. Big race, District 73, the district GOP primary. Tommy Gregory, Melissa Howard. In fact, they have a couple of forums coming up this week. We're starting to heat up the midterms. Yeah, this is really uh, probably going to be one of the hottest local primaries that we have in the Sarasota Manatee region. You have two candidates who have raised a lot of money, have a lot of connections in the community, uh, and this is a heavily GOP seat who so whoever wins the primary has an advantage in the general election so they'll be fighting hard to be the nominee and of course Joe Gruder's leaving that seat but they're both kind of vying for his they both said they have a close relationship with him I've been able to talk to them is Joe gonna help decide this race if, so to speak we'll see I mean it'll be interesting to see if he gets involved I would suspect that he might stay neutral because he's the Sarasota GOP chairman I don't know if he wants to put his finger on the scale but uh, you know he's well regarded in this area so he could be influential if he gets involved. And I know a lot of this district is in Manatee County. I heard Melissa Howard, she's kind of touting that. Tommy Gregory down here in Sarasota, but, you know, a former veteran. Yeah, that was one of the issues in the last election. Joe Gruders faced off against Steve Vernon in the primary for this seat two years ago. Steve Vernon lives in Lakewood Ranch, and he kind of ran as the Manatee guy, and Joe uh, lives in Sarasota. The district is mostly in Manatee County, so the person in Manatee County, Melissa Howard, could have uh, the advantage in I'm sure she's going to try and uh, push that uh, in the race, but we'll see if uh, voters really care. In the end, Joe was able to pull it out, even though he doesn't live in Manatee County. Yeah, great name recognition. This is going to be a fascinating race. We know you'll be watching it. Zach, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for having me.